फ्रेंड्स दिस इज श्री राम शास्त्री आई वंस अगेन वेलकम यू ऑल टू माय न्यू वीडियो सेशन सो दिस वीडियो इज रिगार्डिंग द कंपैरेटिव एनाटॉमी ऑफ द ब्रेन इन वर्टिब्रेट्स सो बिकॉज प्रेजेंटली इट्स लॉकडाउन एंड द वर्ड इज टू स्मॉल टू राइट अपॉन आई कुड नॉट मेकअप टू राइट ऑल द ब्रेन ऑफ वर्टिब्रेट्स सो स्टेप बाय स्टेप आई विल बी डिस्कसिंग द कंपैरेटिव एनाटॉमी ऑफ डिफरेंट वर्टिब्रेट ब्रेन so presently three brain structures i have drawn on the board so first one is the cyclostome that is of lamprey second one is of myxin it is also a cyclostome and the third one is of a teleost fish or commonly called as a buffer of fish right so primitive chordates brain we have drawn it on the board again uh, one more information i would like to give you here also regarding how to draw the diagrams of uh, different anatomy uh, what you call as brain anatomy of brain anatomy of heart anatomy of different organs in uh, animals i have been making separate videos for diagrammatic representation of these so slowly one by one i will be uploading some of the videos and uh, how to draw the diagrams for that you can check my other videos regarding comparative anatomy diagrams right so without talking much about these things we can continue with the topic here first thing what you can see here okay so on the board the first diagram what you can see it's of a uh, fish a primitive fish it is not a true fish but it is a primitive chordate so protochordates cyclostomata jawless animals you know they are jawless animals they have a primitive brain what all you can see in the brain the first part what you can see this conical structures are all factory tracts and these small lobes are the all factory lobes this larger structure what you see it is a pineal body now this pineal body is supposed to be present as a very large structure in primitive chordates whereas it's absent in the cyclostomes other other members of the cyclostomes like in myxin the pineal body is absent right now this this uh, points are very much important to be remember right okay so pineal body is very larger in the primitive cyclostomes that is lamprey if you take example scientific name is spectromyzon okay and the cerebral hemisphere are very small lobes right this blue structure what you see it is cerebrum or cerebral structures cerebral structures are too small in these Uh, primitive chordates especially if you talk about the lamprey whereas cerebral structures are quietly developed in the myxin myxin is also a member of same particular category that is cyclostomata only right myxin is commonly called as hagfish and uh, cyclostom lamprey lamprey is a commonly called as uh, lamprey only its scientific name is spectromyzon sorry right and uh, here the diencephalon part is very large as you can see this conical structure it is diencephalon containing a structure called hemenulae ganglion or hemenular ganglion hemenular ganglion is also present in the myxin but this uh, structure called diencephalon is reduced now here the diencephalon is quite bigger here the diencephalon is quite shrinked instead here the development of thalamus takes place here thalamus is shorter their thalamus is larger now optic lobes if you talk about now here there are very largely developed optic lobes are quietly developed in petromyzon whereas in myxin the optic lobe is a single and it's a bit small cerebral cerebellum if you talk about there is a quite very small band of cerebellum present here and it's further smaller in the myxin okay now coming to the medulla oblongata the structure called medulla oblongata exists in the, both of them it's a quite triangular structure present in all vertebrates it's more over similar in most of the vertebrates and it further continues as a spinal cord so what differences you can see in these uh, three di diagrammatic uh, representations of brain is the first one is a very primitive structure here the pineal body is larger if you take the second one olfactory lobes are separate and they are having many olfactory tracts cerebellum is quite larger 
thalamus is quite larger, habinule has quite uh, reduced, uh, thalamus is larger and if you talk diencephalon it's quite shrinked, optic lobes are quite smaller, then cerebellum is also reduced and medulla oblongata that is same. If you talk about the last one, there is a bony fish, okay. So in the bony fish, if you talk about this structure, olfactory lobes are small, cerebellum or cere sorry, cerebral hemispheres, they are quite developed and separated. Here the separation of lobes is quite very much difficult, whereas separate lobes formation is being started from the bony fishes, right. In bony fishes, you can see cerebral, uh, cerebral hemispheres, separate lobes, they are quite smaller only, but they are separate lobes. Below that you can see the optic lobes, optic lobes are quite well developed here and they are separated there, you can see the structure. Then you find cerebellum, cerebellum if you compare in these three diagrams, cerebellum is quite largest in buffalo fish, right, in buffalo fish is quite largest one. Then below that two bean shaped structures, what you see it is a vagal lobe which is a characteristic feature of teleost fish. And then there is a medulla oblongata below this, the brain structure that is medulla oblongata and it further continues into a spinal cord. Diagrammatic representation of these diagrams uh, of brains as well as the difference between the uh, what you call as uh, modifications of the brain, that is an important point to be remembered. So in this video only three diagrams could accommodate on the board. On particular three diagrams I have discussed the comparative anatomy of brains. Second part of this video also I will upload and it will be regarding the remaining vertebrates that is in bony fishes, amphibians, birds and mammals, reptiles, birds and mammals, what kind of a variations of brain development we can see. I hope you might have understood the variations in these three brain structures and uh, try to uh, what you call as go through the video and if you have any questions on this you can ask me. Thank you. We'll stop this video here itself.